guys. Okay, so I wanted to go over curly hair. So what I find very interesting is that a lot of you don't know that you have actually naturally wavy or curly hair. And did you know that most people do? Not a lot of you have completely straight hair. I actually have really wavy to curly hair and certain products I use can make it super kinky curly. I tend to straighten my hair a lot, but on days like today, it's raining outside, I'm like, I am not gonna put the effort into straightening my hair today, so I'm gonna make it curly. So I thought I'd share it with you on how to do that. If you have like obnoxious slight wave on your hair that you just, you know, you're always fighting and stuff and having to straighten, the likelihood is you probably have curly hair or some wave in there that you can enhance by using the correct products. So I just got out of the shower. I've combed through my hair. I like to use a wet brush to brush through my hair. Um, a lot of people with really kinky curly, natural, naturally curly hair um, would probably use like a pick or something that has bigger teeth on it because they don't want to create more frizz for their hair. And that's fine too. Um, but always be sure to brush out your hair because if you do have curly hair, it can tend to get little um, dreadlocks in the back and tangles and mats and so you want to make sure you really detangle it good but always be careful when brushing your hair because it's a lot more elastic when it is wet and it can snap easier so when you have tangles start at the bottom and you work your way up okay and so my hair is pretty wet right now I just got out of the shower. It's been towel dry, but it's still a little wet. I actually like that. I prefer that when I'm going to do my hair curly uh, when I'm doing my hair straight I like it to towel dry it and let it air dry just a little bit so I'm not having to dry it all the way or I'll do a nice rough dry but if I'm wanting it curly I want that fully wet hair so I'm gonna put in gold lust oil to help nourish my hair moisturize it and protect it from the heat there are other options you can do for curly hair once you're about to style you can also use run through detangler this is a very very moisturizing detangler it's gonna be for your medium to really thick hair because it is so moisturizing. I probably wouldn't recommend this to anyone with fine hair, but if your hair is really dry from medium to coarse hair, I would use this. This is fantastic and it's uber moisturizing. I love it. And you could also use the Super Shine Moisturizing Cream. Again, um, if you're probably medium to coarse hair, if you have finer or thin hair, you can use, they have a Super Shine Light. So you can use that too, but this is really good for moisturizing, conditioning the hair. It has a little bit of heat protectant in it, but the, any of these type of products are gonna be really good to prime your hair before you start layering on your products. So I'm gonna grab my Gold Lust. I'm gonna take a couple pumps in my hand, two or three pumps. When your hair's curly, you can actually do a lot more product than if you're wearing it straight. If you wear it straight, it can tend to look greasy if you do too much products, but when your hair is curly, you can pile on the products and your hair just absorbs it. It's so dry anyway, it just absorbs it and it looks great. It gives you that really moisturized, bouncy curl. So I'm gonna put that, that Gold Lust through my hair from scalp to ends. And if I feel like I need more, you can always add more. Okay. And then I'm gonna add in Kuhn Root Boost. This is my absolute favorite product. I use it on every person, every hair type. It's gonna give you a lot of volume in the crown. It's lightweight, not gonna wear your hair, weigh your hair down. It's not gonna feel sticky in your hair either. It's a really great product. What you do is you just separate your hair and spray it in at the scalp. Do it again. And kind of rub it in there. Separate again. Well, if I can get it separated. And this is gonna help kind of create volume. If your hair gets really big anyway, you may not need this. And just rub it in. Okay. Now, curly girls, you have a lot of options out there. There are mousse and there are creams and there's gels and there's so many options. What does a girl should choose, right? So I personally choose a lot of them. I like a lot of them. I cocktail a lot of them. I do different ones on different days, just depending on how I feel or if I've ran out of something. So I have a lot in my beauty arsenal. I have a lot of curl products. So I'm gonna go through some of them and really you can just pick the one you feel like is best for you. Some of you prefer a gel over a cream or a mousse. So I'm going to show you some of those options. So R&Co has something called Park Avenue Blowout Balm. 
Yes, this is also for straight hair. You can straighten and smooth your hair, but when you put this stuff in and scrunch it, it is fantastic. I love to cocktail this with the R & Co Twister. So this is a curl primer. This can be con uh, cocktailed with any products. And so if you cocktail these two together, they make a fantastic curl cream. You can also use Twister by itself. So you don't have to cocktail it if you don't want to, but I tend to like to cocktail products. I don't, I don't know why, I feel like more is better, so. You can also use Kuhn's Blend Defrizz. This is my new favorite product. And if you've been sitting in my chair, you know I've used it on you. Again, it's great for straightening hair. It's also good for curly. I love to prime with this as well. Just put it through my hair and then scrunch it up and then layer another curl product over it. And it is fabulous for curly hair. My other favorite one is the Orbe Curl Gloss. This one is, it kind of reminds me of back in the day, kind of a wet sculpting lotion, like something that you would have set your hair when you did it on rollers and sit under the dryer. But this is fantastic for curly hair. It doesn't leave your hair crunchy or sticky. It's light enough, but it also gives it a nice shine and hold. So this is one of my favorite curl glosses. And Orbe also has a curl control silkening cream. This stuff is amazing. It's lighter than the curl gloss, but it's creamier. So if you like a cream versus the gel, then you would probably like this. It's a very light hold. It's not crunchy or crispy, and it's gonna give you very loose, pretty curls. So today, I am actually gonna cocktail two different things. I'm going to put in Park Avenue Blowout Balm first. So I'm gonna put in the Park Avenue Blowout Balm, about that much on my hand, first, okay? I tend to work in sections when I put hair product in. I go from one side and work it through. From scalp to ends. Okay, that was one section of my hair. I'm doing it again, that much more. Now I'm doing the other side. Scalp to ends, working it through. That was probably a quarter size amount as well. I'm doing it again. This is where I think people miss the boat. To me, um, I feel like more is better on curly hair. I feel like, I'm doing this back section now. I feel like that if you layer more curl product on, the better the hold, the longer the hold, and uh, the springier the curl. Okay, so that was my Park Avenue blowout ball. Now I'm gonna take the curl gloss. I'm gonna pour that in my hand. I'm putting about, oh, you can see about a quarter size amount. And I'm gonna do the same thing. This time I'm gonna flip over because I like to kind of flip my heads to the side and the side make sure I really get in there. And I'm gonna scrunch with it. So I've emulsified it in my hand and I'm gonna scrunch it through my hair. So now I am just gonna keep scrunching and making sure I'm getting that product evenly distributed through my hair and scrunching to kind of create the curls that I want. Okay, so now you've got that product evenly distributed through your hair. Your hair's been scrunched. It's very wet right now. If you wanna put your makeup on right now and let your hair air dry, that's totally fine. You can do that. And then come back and blow dry it or even let it air dry if you have really super natural curly hair. If you're gonna let it air dry when it's done dry, you just wanna kinda of go through and scrunch it again to make sure you don't have any little crispy ends. 
if you're gonna blow dry, I recommend that you have a diffuser because this is the one time you're gonna take this nozzle off. I will allow you to take this nozzle off, but if you are straightening your hair, you have to have this on. If you're gonna do it curly, you have to put a diffuser on. I do not have a diffuser, so I'm gonna show you how you can do it without one, but just be careful and be aware that this gets very hot and you don't wanna get your hair caught up in there because it will burn your hair. So if you can find a diffuser to fit your blow dryer, that's the best possible thing you can do for your hair, but if you don't have one, I'll show you how you can kind of use your hand as a diffuser. So I'm not gonna be able to talk through this, so I'm gonna show you how to blow dry your hair um, and scrunch at the same time. When you're doing this, you want it on low air pressure, so you don't want it on the highest of air pressure, but you want it on the highest heat. So you want low air pressure, high heat, okay? So I'm gonna do that right now, and then I'll show you as I'm doing it, you'll kinda see how you just have to keep working it and scrunching and scrunching, okay? Wow, okay, so <laughs> that did well. Um, you know, I, I had amazing hair back in the 80s, can you even imagine? Um, so if you wanna call, calm this down, so you don't have this 80s vibe going on, um, you can use, there's a few products you can use. So you can reuse your Gold Lust, put a few pumps in there, scrunch it through, that'll help get any little crispies, it'll calm it down. Um, and put create some shine. It's great for second day hair too if you want to do the same thing If you ever wake up and your hair's curly you want to pump in a little gold less. It's fantastic for it There is also the Kuhn silkening polish. This is fantastic for curly hair They actually have a whole line It's called the ultimate control line and it's for curly hair and this is fantastic to use too To help kind of tame down the frizz and, and make it silky and it get, has a little bit of a Mm, I don't want to say waxy because it's not waxy, but it is a little bit more of a hold. I'll pump some out so you can see. Yeah. See, like a little creamy. Oh, whoops. So it has like a creamy uh, feel to it, but it has a little bit of a hold. Not tacky, but just a little bit of a hold in there. So when you scrunch that through, it'll help get any frizzy uh, pieces of your hair. So. Well, I think that curl concoction did well. I don't know what you guys think, but I mean, wow. Okay, so I just wanted to show you um, how you can layer, layer products and you have to put a lot of product in your hair. I probably put three times as much product in my hair as I would if I was wearing it straight. So I kind of wanted to show you guys that because I know I tell my clients that just when you think you put enough product in, put a little bit more because it's so true. Your hair will look dry and frizzy if you don't get enough product in and you try to do this. So if you have the right product, it's not going to look crunchy, it's going to look really good, you're going to have these nice bouncy luscious curls. Also, you can end with a hairspray, of course this is my favorite hairspray, it's the Super Fine Hairspray by Orbe. And I like a light hairspray. I don't want anything crunchy. I want something pliable that has hold, but it's like a dry feeling on my hair. It's not gonna be sticky or anything. So you can go through and really work it through your hair and scrunch it in there, calming this down so you're not like me with the 80s craziness going on. But it just I just wanted to show you because a lot of you have this going on and you don't rock it. You need to totally own it and wear it because I mean, this is fantastic if you have curly hair. It's also better for your hair 
if you're not doing so much damage to it, if you wear it in its natural state the way it wants to be, you're gonna have a healthier head of hair than if you're constantly trying to straighten it, put a flat iron to it and do all this stuff. My hair is really damaged and dry because of that. And so there's times I just have to let my hair go curly so I can give it a break. And on rainy days like this, that's the perfect time to do it. So anyway, you can just spray just a little bit. You still want your hair to be touchable. You don't want to have so much hairspray or anything. And then you can just work your curls and make them lay down and do what you want to do. But that is it. That is my tutorial on how to make your hair curly. So your hair may not be this curly or your hair may be even more curly than this. But if you have a nice wave in your hair, you can do the same thing I just did and scrunch it. And, and you'll have a nice wave in your hair. And you can even add a few curls with a curling iron and it looks fantastic. So. I love when you guys share your pictures. So try it out, post your pictures on here, let me see your results, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching, bye.